let's play some Pioneer here. Soul tie it up. Oh, wait. I got to put this deck on uh, Cardboard Live, don't I? Hmm. Every time I think I got it down, I forget something. Export. Soul tie mid range. So many buttons to click, y'all. So many buttons. All right. Sideboard. All right, Cardboard Live should be updated for y'all. Rejoin. Yo, Corey, you have more Pioneer trophies than Ross. At least you have that. He would have a trophy if it counts for her versus life. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, I kind of miss uh, Oko as well, my friend. I kind of miss Oko as well. The card was just really fun to play. It just wasn't fun when everybody was playing it, you know? That was the not-so-fun part. All right, let's battle. All right, I haven't played, I haven't played uh, Soul Tight in a long time, y'all. So we'll see if I remember how to play this format. Um, this hand seems fine. Nothing special. I think we'll keep. I probably want to get a land, but we don't know exactly what we want yet. So we're just going to go land, tap, say go. Okay, green white. So it's not inverter. I'm already I'm already hyped. I just figured it was gonna be an, an inverter fest. Alright. I think I wanna get one land for Uro here. Let's get this. No, I don't think there's a real reason to hold mana open for fatal push because I can Uro and then push next turn. So I think that's fine. <laughs> Chris, you're you're my something special. Yeah, Thunder Wonk. I mean, I, for a while, right? But then it just got really old. Then it got really old. Hexproof? Ooh. So Boggles deck? All right. I guess my... Uh, I guess my pushes aren't very good. All right, we'll traverse again. Um, doesn't matter too much. We just wanna get close to uh, being able to bring back Uro to race whatever they're gonna do. You go to the tank to tank up before the pandemic. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Christopher. I am stocked to the tank. You would be impressed if you saw our, our little uh, quarantine collection here. At least we can fatal push the token. Value. Okay, we're dead. How am I going to stop that card? Um, 
Probably just won't. All right, let's cast another Uro. Ugh, tilt. Um, and I played a forest already. I should have played Uro first. Let's see if there's even anything we can get like to block this or can we even deal with this card? We just really can't. Okay, so we just have to hope that Uro is enough to race and that they're just out of steam. We don't have to play it this turn, so we'll just say go. Don't think this plan's gonna work, but. What do you think of five colored Niven Modder? I think it's really good. Man of Mystery, I played it for my drop and bombs this week as well. So check it out on StarCityGames.com. Uh, and I, uh, I definitely talked about the deck in great detail. This is stupid. Welcome to Pioneer, just playing against Boggles. God, if we had a... Uh... Yeah, we're just dead. If we had like Ishkana in our deck, maybe we'd have a chance, but we're gonna go to nine. Yeah, we're just dead. All right, all right. A solid welcome to Pioneer. Unravel. Abrupt Decay. I guess we did have Abrupt Decays to at least put it on the ground. Kalitas. How about an Emmercool? Guess Fatal Push is really bad. Abrupt Decay is fine because it still hits the enchantments. Murderous Rider seems insanely poor. Eat to Extinction is also bad, just spot removal in general. Mm, could Duress? All right, we'll try something like this. All right, game two against Boggles. Slippery Boggles, just coming for modern. Yeah, yeah, I think I like Duress too. Do we like all of them though? Maybe. Maybe. Something like a Treese is probably not good enough. Oh, we, we were too late. That hand's terrible. Okay, I think we're gonna keep and just get rid of this Emrakul. Um, our Death Rate Shaman is not very good right now because we don't have a Fetch Land. But if we top deck a Fetch Land, that's pretty strong. Let's keep, put this to the bottom. Death Ride Shaman is a card I just haven't cast in, in Pioneer yet, to be honest. But, could just be a card that is just nowhere near good enough for the format. Yeah, yeah, Chris. Always nice to have a good game of Pioneer. What have you been playing, Chris? Or just limited? You seem like the specifically limited mage these days. Do we think our opponent is going to play something that I can target? Almost assuredly not. So I think we'll just do this. 
Yeah, Ethor is that come back? It's definitely something. It's definitely a thing. Not a great thing, but our opponent's being slow. Come on, moldy toast. We're trying to play some magic. It'll be interesting if we want to play Tracker or Uro next turn. Probably just Tracker to get the clues here, but... All right. The Beatdowns. We'd like some hand disruption or something this turn, but we'll have to settle with this. <laughs> bold, Thunderwonk, bold. Okay. Another Uro is not exactly what we want here. Guess we just get Tracker in and try to kind of race. But I'd rather get the value from the clues from Uro than, than the other way around. And then we can like start decaying uh, their thing. Hexproof is silly, Brittany. How are you, my friend? The copycat league went okay. We started 3-0 and then ended 3-2. Wah, wah, wah. Lost to burn and uh, I already forgot. Oh. Okay. Keen sense is something we'll have to deal with. It wasn't burn and burn, no. We'd love a land. Land, please. Sweet. Clue. Now I think I'm just gonna go land, or I'm just gonna say go. Is that bad? Um, Cause if I attack want to be able to block and like sack the griff spoon and then just straight block it this might not work out for us depending on how many enchantments they have all right now we're hoping we can even just trade for this if we can start them over we'll usually be set yep that gives it first strike. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, we're dead. Henny's expertise, huh? Well, I mean, I think the only thing we can do is minimize the amount of damage by taking out an ethereal armor and hope we can get another decay. Yeah. Take seven. Brutal. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. We can even really get with Grizzly Salvage. I guess it feeds this, so it's kind of good. All right. Um, probably just want a Fabled Passage. Um, 
Um, yeah, I think we're dead. So we can just Uro every turn essentially and hope that that is enough. I think that's really all we got for now. Um, we can exile a land for a mana that doesn't do anything. So we just got to hope we can live through the next turn. And then hope to draw something or maybe Earl can put us back into it. I don't know. We're in trouble. Who plays Boggles? Ten. Any enchantment does it? Okay, we get to live. Oh, no attacks. All right, we'll take that. I think that was a mistake. Still don't think there's a possible way we can win. Still just cannot fathom a way that we win this game. Okay. Um, I think we have to start with putting Uro into play from our graveyard. Or we can go like this first and Courser. And then death right to get mana if we really need it. I think that is decent. Should gain enough life to live through a turn. Ugh. Right, we need green. Row. Another Jace on top, exactly what the doctor ordered. All right, now we're just very likely dead again. <laughs> Even forgot to attack once. Even just forgot to attack and we're still just can't win. All right, round one. Didn't go great. Didn't go great, y'all. What happened to Pioneer since I've been gone? <laughs> yeah, Emrakul would have been nice. Imagine, lo no, not losing to Green White Boggles. We got obliterated by Green White Boggles, uh, Gozman48. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, Storm Breath Dragon? Yeah, that was embarrassing. We got obliterated. Good old Boggles. All right, all right. We'll hope for better for round two here. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know if this list is like looks good or bad. I, I have not played Pioneer in so very long. Just because Inverter was just so good, you know? Like the last event I played was just Inverter for like one of the challenges. And I just played Mirrors constantly, you know? You should try getting mad. No, there's no fun in that. I'm going to get pissed if I keep mulliganing. All right, we'll keep this. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's 45% uh, Sultai right here. We're going to keep... Um, I think we'll just get rid of Murderous Rider here or Tracker. Yeah, let's get rid of Murderous Rider. Not positive on that. All right, they're going first. They mold to six as well. Oh, thanks, Gasman48. Appreciate you. Oh, this should be a good matchup, though. Um, all right, 
I think we just want to start with the thoughts is Nissa and Serpent and Ballista, huh? Well, I think Nissa is the card that is the hardest to beat, so we'll get rid of that. <laughs> Thanks, Spellrunner. Appreciate you. GP once, and you're 100% the nicest pro player I've ever talked to. Oh, I'm blushing. I'm blushing. The person we just played against was just like, yo, is this Corey? Big fan? I am just getting all the love right now. Love it. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Can make infect. That's interesting. Oh, I didn't even think about that, Thunder Wonk. The double strike one in infect seems interesting. It just costs so much mana, you know? All right, I'm guessing this is a serpent. Oh, weird. Okay. Um, well, that sucks, but I still think we want to get a land. Let's get a island, play a Fabled Passage, and say go. Our whole goal is to just try to get Uro in play while still having enough time. We, we really we need, like, a Fatal Push here, and then that will feel good. Let's just get green. Yep. In case we get Courser. <laughs> Need more. Hey, that's because you didn't wash your hands, Mark. <laughs> Alyssa. Okay, okay. Yeah, we'd love a fatal push, please. Fatal push, fatal push. I think we have to do this. Okay, shit. This is not looking great. Yeah, I was wondering about that as well, Thunder Wonk. I think it just, it would go away, I would think. Or it stays that creature if you put it on top. I think if you put it on top, it stays a creature. If you put it on bottom, then it would stay a land. But I really don't know. I've wondered the same thing. Okay, well, we're dead. I think we need Fatal Push. Fatal Push would allow us to push something and bring back Uro. I think that's like our only hope. Push, push, push. Four of them. Ugh. Um, five, six, seven. We might just be dead. Tracker. Yes, Igloo Boy. Yeah, you can't mutate onto a mutable because it's a human. You're right. Okay. Get a clue. Now we're just going to play Jace just to actually stay alive. Eight, nine, ten... I think we're dead on board if they do it right. Sack Oasis to this. That's 10 Trample. We can block. Yeah, we're dead on board if they just Sack Oasis to Hydra. I think they see it. Pretty bad luck to not see at least one push. This would have just turned this game upside down. 
Or they walking ballista, make a token. And they have multiple ways to win, right? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Even ballista just put a counter on wins. Being dead on board is a state of mind. Yes, it is. If you don't see it, you can't die. I like that. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is Jabberwocky's uh, list. It's the list Logan sent me. And it sucks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're just not drawing well. Um, okay, let's do that. Unravel seems good. Decay is excellent. Um, all this other stuff I think can be in the yard. Let's take out Death Rite. I don't know how great Death Rite Shaman really is. Um, just max out on removal. Could take out a Treese. Could just take out Thoughtseize though too. On the play, I don't think we really need it. Tracker also doesn't seem great. Let's take out one of those. And a tree seems absolutely terrible. So let's go like that. Two Thoughtseize. We're going to bring some more Thoughtseize in on the draw. Let's bring in this Ashiok too. Let's take out a Grizzly Salvage. I think that seems fine. Yeah, I know, Igloo Boys. It's truly been... I have just been getting wrecked lately in Magic. Draw like a boss, not like a Ross. Trademarked. <laughs> uh, yeah, he is a smart fella. I will agree with you. Yeah, I like Scale Stormbreath Dragon. I've always liked that deck. You'd play all four? I mean, you do just want to interact with them... The max amount of time. Maybe it's better than Grizzly Salvage. So that card seems heinous. All right, Alpalism. Think you're so cool? Smart in this channel? Proving me wrong over and over? Well, whatever. Whatever. All right. Let's try to win a match. I guess we keep. Let's try it. Yeah. Okay. Anything to play on this turn would be excellent. Well, now we're just going to kill everything with Murderous Riders over and over and over. Yeah, third Murderous Rider. That's what we wanted. What's with everything being hexproof? I didn't even know this was a card. I think we're just gonna play a murderous rider. Yeah, has anybody ever seen this card? I mean, it seems good. The hell? Yeah, I think it'll be good for that Thunder Wonk. Not another one. Son of a... Could take a bunch of damage here and just put a Thoughtsies and Murderous Rider down. So we'd take, what, four? Go to 13? I think it's worth it. Let's first Thoughtsies, see if their hand is vulnerable to it. Well, we definitely need to take this Hydra. All right, now we can double block one of them, and it's a great exchange. Yeah, right, Kamimi. Now our plan is to just play these cards. And they took two with Overgrown Tomb? What the hell? 
Ballista for three? Jesus. Oh, okay. I think that's actually better for us. Yeah, that's way better for us. Holy crap. Ooh. Protection from multicolored, though. Um, I think we just got to kill it, right? Yeah, he wouldn't have a third one, would he? Ugh. And we just have to kill it. But I don't think we can Uro as well. I think it's too risky. Here we go. If they top deck something strong again, I think we just won't be able to come back. spell did you get now oh now it's the walking ballista of course of course i mean we have to double block just so that ballista dies lame yeah, just getting crushed. And the fact that they're not even filling up our graveyard for Uro is just so bad. All right, Ashiok, make a token, do some praying. Yeah, Yahini's expertise would be good. All right, what's, what X spell did they draw now? Anyone want to take bets? Yeah, are we Greg? I think we're Greg in this scenario. He's Eric slashing Greg. <laughs> Kind of a beating so far. But, I mean, Ashiok puts them in a little bit of a weird spot here. So if they just, like, oasis something, we chump block. So this is this is good. Don't get me wrong. But, and next turn we can go Uro plus Midnight or Murderous Rider. So if they draw some blanks. Oh, we got a sub. PH Panago? Paniago? I don't know. I'm sure I butchered that. Thank you so much for your Bezo Bucks there, your Twitch Prime. Welcome back to the bomb squad. Let's drop some bombs on our new subs there. I think uh, Chevelle is good. Okay, so what did we pump? This? Sure. Face is the place. So I have to block. That's 10 damage. So let's go like this. Okay, there's their lawnmower. Not a bad turn for us. Okay, so green, blue, black, a row. Ugh. Well, we could Jace or we could just Murderous Rider. I think Murderous Rider is better right now. Then we'll say go. We can cast the cards here. Okay, so we do have a push and a winding constrictor we can cast, plus whatever we exile with this. 
So what if they mute a vault? We can block that, chump this, take four, five, six, but gain two? We're sitting okay. Sitting okay. What we really want is like a Seder Wayfinder. Seder Wayfinder to be able to bring back Uro would just be a GG. It's been a sweet game to kind of hang on to, but you know what? Maybe Opalism was right and we just should have uh, mulliganed the hand. I mean, it was, it is slow and a little clunky and maybe we just have to mulligan to like abrupt decays and fatal pushes, but they would not have worked out too well here, you know? You guys going to continue using proxies or when they released in Asian countries, are you using those cards? I mean, once SCG gets the cards, we use them, Igloo. But that's it. You should play Oko. God, very smart. Okay. Let's see. So if they like fatal push their own card, four, five, six. Okay, so if I double block a wolf, they get to kill Murderous Rider. I can actually go block Murderous Rider to here, uh, Nightmare to here. Yeah, you're right, Alpalism. Um, so what I'm leaning on is this, but how does this look? So that is us taking five, gaining two. Um, I think I like this. The riskier line is going like this, but then we lose to abrupt decay because they can abrupt decay their own mutavolt. I don't know why they wouldn't abrupt decay mutavolt though if they had it. So maybe they have fatal push. So I think the safe play is this. Okay, that didn't hit us anything nice. Okay. Can't decay Mutavolt. Yeah, sure. Okay, so three types. I could get a Planeswalker in the graveyard. Holy shit, that could be good. Creature land sorcery, could get planeswalker. Then we can traverse for anything. We could traverse for Kalidus and Fatal Push. I think that's worth it. Without paying their mana costs. So I get to cast Push and Winding Constrictor for free. Um, so I can go Traverse for Kalidus and play Jace and kill something. Ooh, Traverse for Ballista is definitely reasonable as well. That could be better. I think Kalidus is better though, actually. Emrakul, we're a little too far away. All right. Oh, you have to cast them right now? Oh, so we can't do that. Dang it, okay. So cast this, cast this on Winding Constrictor. Um, let's Traverse. Courser, Kalidas. I think it's just gotta be Kalidas here. Kalidas and Jace. Seems good. 
We could also go for Wayfinder. Wayfinder and getting Uro into play is probably better. All right. I think that is better. It's like, how do they beat Uro? All right. Seder. Do we want the land or do we just want to leave it in the yard? I think we just leave it. More food. All right. So let's try to keep. Um, try to keep delirium as much as we can. Okay. Now do we just attack with Murderous Rider? Nah, probably not. We'll just say go. All right, that was a good turn, y'all. That was a spicy one. That was a spicy turn. This has got to be a good matchup for us, too, so it would suck to just get obliterated by it, but I think we're sitting good now. That's a little late, I bet. We're not going to cast stuff during their turn. That does work kind of cute with it. Yeah, it was a good turn and we learned. So what more could we want? <laughs> you got it, Kamimi. Ballista? Okay. That's pretty scary. So they can either kill something or they can make it so we can't attack into Uro. That's what I would rather not have happen. Hmm. That's a tough one. Because if we have Fatal Push, it looks so bad if they don't uh, kill this. But I guess it doesn't matter if we have Fatal Push. Yeah, they've been drawing only gasoline. All right, we, we love the fight. Fight is what we wanted to see. Let's get another blue source. Uh, Stokies, I, I bought a very nice gaming computer, but I don't know a ton about it. Um, you know, like if my specs are good or whatever. So I, I wish I could be of more help. All right. Well, not making this giant allowed us to play into the decay here. So now I just want to play my three things. So we're definitely going to unravel this. We're definitely going to play a Jace. And we're definitely going to decay something. I think just the big creature here. And say go. Where did you buy it? Um, there is a website. What is it again? Uh, iPower. Yeah, iPower. They they basically make them for you too. Like it's it's a very convenient site. All right, we'll take three. Or I buy power. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gasman's got it. I buy power. They make some great computers. Okay. They are dead. Now we find Ballista or Emrakul, right? Did we even bring that in though? Kalidus, Ballista, I mean, I Ballista seems insane right now. 
Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kill those elves. Then we'll say go. We're just gonna block with Jace and transform. Make them suffer? Uh, elbowism, you, you cold, cold human being. Right on the draw, like all the thought seizes. You just need to interact. Um, could see just taking out Tracker. Seems like we just will never have the time against them. I think I like this. Could do like Death Rite, but I think that card is just pretty bad. I think I should probably just not play Death Rite Shaman. Never seems good. I don't know what match I'd really want it for. I mean, I guess it's good at exiling stuff from our opponent's yard. Yeah, it seems really bad to me, Alpalism. I was just trusting in uh, my good old friend and teammate, Logan Nettles. But maybe it's just not good enough. This hand, on the other hand, is good enough. Just fatal push in our opening hand is just like, <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's probably too, uh, true as well, Tony. All right, our opponent is mulliganing to six. Yeah, yeah, Alpalism, but we won, so. Oh, could be, yeah. All right, let's see what they got. Do I want to bolt an elf is the real question. And the answer is I think I have to. Sure, well, never mind. Snot sees him. Okay, I think we take this hex proof. Take that hex proof piece of garbage. The beatdowns? Hell yeah. Da beatdowns. Nice. I didn't want to take damage. Sweet. Don't care that we didn't hit land. We hit Uro. That is really all that actually matters. Yeah, opponent's hand is bad. B -b -b bad. Yeah, Witch Stalker. Well, it hasn't been that long since I saw Witch Stalker, but yeah, they are dead. We'll take it. We'll take it. Two. No big deal. Twelve. Pretty good. I think I still just want to play Seder Wayfinder. I don't want to take damage if I don't have to just to kill a Mutavolt. Um, I'd rather get Fabled Passage here so I don't have to take damage next turn. Breeding Pool tapped and just say go. And then just Earl back next turn and just... You know, click buttons at random, basically, and still win the game. You're damn right we will, Opalism. You're damn right. Ballista for two. Played the tomb. So it doesn't matter which land we get, just can't get a swamp. Sure. Okay. Definitely Uroing, but the real question is which land. I think I would rather get green. And if we top deck a black source, they are really screwed. Okay, Uro, let's try to get rid of redundant stuff. Three, and 
That's delirium, so we have to get rid of something. We have an instant, so let's get rid of the instant. Okay. Okay, no land. A-OK, -okay, though. We'll just chump with Seder Wayfinders if they fatal push this. The only thing we want to do is just make sure that we Uro again next turn. And that they just have to keep fatal pushing and keep drawing cards like that. <clears throat> A row. They could go ballista for one and then kill Ur nah, I mean their their options cannot be good here. What you got, opponent? What you, what you, what you got? Uh-oh. Snakey snake. <sighs> okay. We do still get to attack with Uro. Definitely gonna jam. Maybe I should have played Courser first. Okay, see what they do. Quarantine life's been all right, Wang Lu. How are you? Okay. Now it's interesting. Because I want to fatal push this constrictor. So I should probably do that now. And then also just play Courser, I think. We could traverse for a land to guarantee that we get to cast one. Yeah, traverse for a swamp is exactly what I was going to do. Now we do this first. Courser. <laughs> That's awkward because that is one we can't cast. We will go like this. Gain a life. Fatal push constrictor because it's the scariest card. And just be expecting to take a little damage this turn. No big deal. Bring it. We're tapped out. Punch me. Yeah, Appleism, we're on the same page on that. That's for sure. I do love me some Sultai. This has been fun, at least. Well, Boggles was not fun. That was not fun to play against. <laughs> I'll take four. No big deal. We were at like eight at one point. We've really climbed back to just giving them a good beating. Is it better than Inverter yet? Probably not. I don't, it probably never will, but it's just, I just don't enjoy playing Inverter and Pioneer at all anymore. I really don't. So I kind of just refuse to play it, even though it's, you know, the best at, yeah, 49% against everything. We're 45% Sultai here, so. Yeah, I agree with you, Brittany. I would say they ban it too, and they probably would have if uh, we were still playing SCG events and stuff like that, uh, or at least they would have banned uh, Dig, but now that, you know, there's no events for them to, you know, judge it off of. I like Mono White, Kamimi. It's actually kind of sweet. If you liked mid-range, like green-black, it really does kind of feel like it. Oh yeah, Jabberwocky is definitely, uh, has some brews, but... A okay, double counter, sure. Eat. Okay, that seems good to draw. Seems like a spicy one to draw, so we'll attack with this. 
go like this. Yeah, they're they're still screwed, but okay. Now I kind of like to Seder Wayfinder to get this off the top, play a land, and then Thoughtseize and eat to extinction. I like that. It would be nice to get Jace down as well, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's a lot of Uros. Okay, Thoughtseize on top. We can just go unravel Jace and Thoughtseize. I don't care about these that much. But we start with the Thoughtseize and see what's up. You know they have Fatal Push, so we can take that at least. All right, we'll take push. Um, yeah, I think it's just thoughts he's an eat. I think the only way that we lose is if we get cheesed out somehow. Jace is just not a big deal right now. And then I get to get rid of this thoughts is. I probably should have did it first uh, for a land, but that's yeah, fine. Um, okay, we're gonna get him here. We're gonna kinda get him. We're gonna force him to use a token or use a ballista counter on a satyr, which they wouldn't normally want to do. And then we'll just eat it. It's not that big of a deal, but... Oh, it's great, Wanglo. I love Modern right now. By far my favorite format. All right. I'll let that exchange happen. I didn't want to eat because then they could respond with it. So now we'll eat. Get rid of this thoughts is. And now we can just like flashback Uro for funsies. Um, we'll start with an unravel. Ultimatums, they're interesting. I don't I, I think the Abzat ultimatum is gonna be really good in a pioneer deck. Um that's what I'm the most excited for. I wanna try uh Seder Wayfinder Abzan list um that can take advantage of the ultimatum. I think that would be cool. Um we'll just attack with this. Cat Companion, I think that's good, Mark. That'll be good in Modern for sure. Okay, that was actually a pretty good draw because now we're able to flashback an Uro on defense. At this point, we just take whatever. We have plenty of Thought Seizes. Plenty of Creatures. Uro. Jace. Your go. They did. They did. What's this? Yeah, they're just actually dead now. Uh, yeah, they're dead. Hiya! <laughs> All right, one and one. We're not a 
We're not in the embarrassment bracket of 0-2 losing to Boggles and a good matchup. So, on the board. All right, y'all. I am going to go get myself. You know what? We've been streaming for a decent amount of time. I better get myself a nice end-of-the-night beer. <laughs> I'm going to go get myself a drink, y'all. Refill my water as well. And then we'll continue uh, this league. So, yeah. Different name permanence. Oh, no. Abzan is the return... Cards with different name from your graveyard. The green blue one is you search your library, Alpalism. I'm pretty sure. But I think there's some abs on list with like, you know, Grizzly Salvage, Seder Wayfinder, some of the Planeswalkers. Um, you get to play Gideon. Uh, you get, can play like three or four Gideon uh, of Trials to, to be good against Inverter. So basically just a bunch of hand disruption, ways to fill your graveyard. I don't know if it'd be good, but that's something I want to try next week. Um, all right, I'll be right back, y'all. Oh, the Erosa deck's good. The Team Erosa deck is definitely tier one right now in Modern. I don't think it's insane or anything, and there's a lot of boils out there. So that's a little bad, but otherwise a very good deck there. All right, be right back, y'all. All right, y'all, we back. We back. What is up? Okay, cheers, y'all. Let's have a good uh, rest of the stream. Ooh, we're playing a Jabberwocky deck, and Logan is the trophy leader. Not surprised. Not surprised at all. Hmm, yum. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Round three. A good looking glass IPA. I've been really hooked on Star Hill Brewing Company. It's a local Roanoke uh, brewing company and it's awesome. We're gonna keep this. And we get to go first, hell yeah. Quarantine brew hype, hell yeah, J Free. Hey, uh, JDB399, what's up? Yeah, Logan is indeed good at magical cards. All right, we're just going to get a forest here, I think. Maybe we... Uh, getting a swamp is so bad for Uro. But we do also just need to cast the spell. Ooh, this matchup again. God, I don't know. Getting the swamp sucks. So I'm not gonna. Okay. Um, let's go like this. Seder. Um, breeding pool. Or let's get the Fabled Passage in case we draw a Fatal Push. 
Then we'll say go. Next turn we can Uro plus land and then flashback Uro. Exactly. No swamp, never. <laughs> okay, I'd love to kill that. I'd love to kill one of these. Fatal push. Hey, not bad. Um, so let's start with this. They can have a nutty turn though, which is scary. A row. How about a fatal push? Nope. Um, we can play this or we can play death, right? We're going to use all of our mana anyways. Next turn. So we're not going to be able to activate death, right? So I think we're just going to go with this. All right, don't have too good of a turn, please. Okay. I'm gonna take it. That's of course good, but I'm gonna just get Uro into play first. All right, Uro. Okay, I think we need the Thoughtsies here to stop some really good play. We didn't have Delirium. So I think we're just going to Thoughtsies to try to contain him. Oh, boy. All right, well, these are all good. These are all very good magic cards. <clears throat> I think Vivian is the one I care the least about. Vivian, we wouldn't mind. Nissa isn't that good. I think Nissa is probably the card I'm going to take. Voracious Hydra doesn't seem that great. It can't kill Uro. I think it's... I, no, because, like, think about Vivian here, Brittany. They, if they just go land Vivian, like, they can't kill Uro. So what are they going to do? Put counters on each of them? And, or they'd have to put both counters on Winding Constrictor to be able to attack through Uro. And then I just go Seder Wayfinder block on that. And then I re-attack back at Vivian. Yeah. No, they can't kill Uro. It's six damage, right? Yeah, they can't kill Uro. They can kill Uro with Hydro with a land, I guess, right? No. No. I, I think it's just Nyssa. All right. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't mean they can kill it, Opalism, unless I'm missing something. I think you're drunk. Because it's two counter. Oh, shit. But Nissa, they can for sure cast it, you know? Oh, Tipski coming in with a tier one sub for five months in a row and seven total months. So thank you so much for the support. Welcome back to the Bomb Squad. I think I like traversing for a land. And then eat to extinction plus death right. <laughs> Maybe SPS. Yeah, thanks, Brittany. Um let's traverse. All right, let's jam. Okay. Hmm. 
Now I think we take Vivian. Vivian is messed up now. And then just let him have the voracious Hydra. Because Hydra is good as well, but I think Vivian is scarier. No, I'll be taking that card. That was an abrupt decay on top, which is huge. Edge. One of the greatest top decks I've ever seen. Really? Why? Interesting. Well, we get to kill that. Double it, 11, 12. I'll take it. Definitely decaying. Beatdowns coming in. Yeah, it would have been big enough to block, but I don't think uh, it wouldn't have been able to kill it. Mm. Grizzly Salvage here seems okay, I guess. Uh, maybe just Tracker and Death Rite. Maybe just Uro and Death Rite. Definitely don't want to block with Tireless Tracker here, but I wouldn't mind attacking with it. So I think that seems good just for that reason. Why to thank me, Wonglu? Yeah, yeah, Blizzum, I think you were wrong on that one, but whatever. We still love you. We still love you here. All right, we'll bring these in. Um, Grizzly Salvage is bad. Death Rite seems bad. Tracker for sure one. Atrice is bad. Probably just that other Tracker again. Like, this is like my favorite card of all time, but I just don't think it's good in this matchup. So let's do that. Oh, yeah. No, one with less than like, one less... Then like three seconds, I think, Wonglu. Wasn't that insane? Anybody who hasn't seen the drop and bombs for this uh, this week, it's unreal. Game one is, bu or match one is busted. I almost didn't even get to put that up on dropping bombs because it was about, I don't want to spoil it. I'll have to watch it. But I almost didn't get to use that video, but it ended in such a dramatic way. I, I had to use it. It's insane. This was a good drop and bombs. All right, we're going to keep. Hopefully moving to Roanoke. Hell yeah. Come to the Noak. Satsis. Nissa or Questing Beast? We can beat the Questing Beast. Let's just take the Nissa. I know. I couldn't believe it either, Wonglu. It was so insane. It was so insane. That was a game. That was a game of magical cards. All right. Land go. <laughs> yeah, that was so insane. 
Oh, we're gonna get them so good. We're gonna get them so good next turn. Check this out, y'all. Uh, yeah. Green, blue, a row. Set up Fatal Push and Fabled Passage. Ooh, or I could just Thoughtseize it. I'm gonna let him play it and then just Fatal Push and then Thoughtseize whatever else next turn. So they still have Land of War Waste. So they only have one other card, so maybe that was wrong, but. Um, what's thoughts is? Why not? We can't quite err out. We needed a fabled passage. Oh, they only had one card in hand. I'm so stupid. I thought they had two for some reason. I should probably just open my eyes. Um, okay. So we'll say go. We'll either unravel in response to something. Yeah, that was impressive, huh? That's anytime I make a stupid play, y'all. Let's drop this punt emote. Okay. It's so much better than a punt counter, because then it's a visual aid, you know? Alright, we'll unravel this shite. Ooh. All right. I mean, what's better? They're both just so good. Whatever. I just always think Uro is the better play. I just, it just, it's, it's always so insane. Yeah, I kind of thought they were, when I made the punt thing, I was assuming they were going to use a football, but then they sent a soccer ball to me and I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. It looks fine. <laughs> I was like, yeah, close enough. What a, what kind of witch stalking world are we playing in now? Um, three, four. They could trade their whole board for this. I guess we don't care about that. All right, one, two, three, four, five. We can only play one spell anyway, so we're just going to put these into play tapped. Um, no. I think we can just play Ashiog and tick up. Or we can like bounce. Nah, that's worse. Yeah, New York City, not the best place to move right now uh, there, huh? And they just forgot to attack. <laughs> I was just going to say I wouldn't use it, but. <laughs> all right, all right, we're two and one. Let's keep it going. This deck feels fun. I don't know how amazing it feels, but it's definitely good against scales. Horrible against Bogos, though. We know that for a fact. Whenever I find a job, which is not easy right now. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Not exactly every place hiring when you're not allowed to have the doors open. Yeah, that makes sense to me. All right, Doom Switch. I know this moto name. Why? Why? Yeah, we'll keep. It's not great. We'll snot seize right away. Whoa. Red black. Crux is not bad. We kind of want to discard Uro anyways. 
Red Roar is kind of annoying. Coligan's Command is probably pretty annoying too. I mean, this hand is, isn't that important. I think I just want to get rid of one of these Croxos, to be honest. But Colgan's Command is kind of the same, I guess. I'm gonna do a Croxa. All right, I really want to top deck a Seder Wayfinder, please. Seder, Seder, Seder. It's pretty good. I think I probably want to just discard Murderous Rider. It's going to be so hard to cast anyways. And I just want to land a Treese and then follow it up with Uro. I'll choose Swift End. Oh. Weird. I discarded Swift End. All right. I didn't know you could do that. All righty. Uro. Okay. Say so go. Be able to do a Treese next turn. is an age-old battle of titans. You're right, Freezy. You are correct. Pretty happy with a trees here, though. Mind games, let them begin. I almost want to get the card with uh, the pile with one. Uh, I choose this one. Do I want Eat to Extinction or do I want two cards? I think I want two cards. Yeah. Um, I mean, this Deathrite Shaman is going to be nice. We can go get a green. I mean, they're going to kill it, I guess, but... Your go. Oh, hell yeah, buddy, indeed. Oh, yeah, envies are gonna be are gonna be awesome. Oh, is this Anderson? Oh, that would that would make a lot of sense. Anderson, is that you? Okay, so we got Uro now. Yeah, okay, all right. I, I wasn't positive. Yeah, man, I hope to get you down here, you know? Everything's so uncertain with everything, though, so it makes sense that this is not a great time to move. Ooh. Ah, shit, I tapped wrong. Oh, I guess I couldn't have done anything. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have played the land, but I think it's fine. Nah, I shouldn't have played the land. Snotsies, eh? Okay. Probably just Dread Boring Uro. I think they just have to. Boring, Dread Boring. All right, let's get something to cast. Okay, I guess not the worst. And kill one Croxa.
What are your thoughts on Astrolabe? Is it too good or does it winnable decks like five card? I, I don't, maybe retype that. They're looking to just Culligan's command this. I mean, I think it's fine. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to ban it. I wouldn't want to ban it quite yet. But also, I have no control over it, so it doesn't really matter what I say. Yeah. All right. So, we can't bring back Uro this turn yet. We can a Treese. If they call against Command, we'll lose a Treese and Fatal Push. No problem. Oops. All right, Seder Wayfinder. We're gonna put a land in our hand, but we're not gonna play it. Okay, cool, just kidding. Just kidding. Hey, HK. I don't know, I really just don't like answering the questions of should this be banned? It's like, it doesn't matter what I say whether it something should be banned or not because I have no power in getting it banned and it's just there's no point in asking question answering questions that are all contextual to what they might do it doesn't matter it's just just wait until they ban something or not and then adjust accordingly you know I don't know why I think that's my biggest pet peeve in magic is everyone wants to ban everything all the time you know Enclosure that I'm good at magic and have qualified for it. <laughs> I don't know the youngest age, but congrats for being a youngster and doing it. Hopefully we get to play um, magic for this envy. I'm really doubting it, but you never know. Okay, still don't have delirium, which is kind of messed up. Green, blue, blue, green. All right, let's get rid of all the creatures. So we got one creature there, so that's fine. Okay. Do we want to play death right? I mean, I guess we probably do. They're forced to kill it, I think. Yeah, and that's fair. That's fair. All right, that's been pushed. Now Croxa does get rid of both cards in her hand, but I guess that's not that big of a deal. Chandra. Okay. Add red. Bone Crusher Giant. Okay. That's not that big of a deal. We'll just get to bring it back, but they are definitely uh, testing our limits here. All right. We will traverse. Green. Green, blue. Blue, green. A row. How many Uros can we bring back? That is the question. Ooh. I think I will. Uh, I don't want to play that without value, to be honest. Want to deal with Chandra first? Yeah, just black red there, SPS. But we're kind of playing Pioneer's Jund. Pioneer's Soltier, Soltai Pioneer is basically Jund. Uh, yep. Mountain. All right, 31. I think they just cast this push. We're just going to discard Traverse here. And then probably just Abrupt Decay it. Okay. Okay. 
All right, let's kill this. Decay. All right, let's go like this. We'll take two. Let's draw. Doing this so we maximize our attempts to put a land into play. All right, Chandra, Doom Switch. Okay. This is a good turn. Tracker is so messed up against these fair decks that are trying to answer your cards on a one for one basis. So we're gonna draw a card again to try to hit another land for Uro. Blue, green, Uro. Whoa! Why a Darby coming in with a gigantic raiding party. What is up my friend, how are you? That is gigantic. Welcome everybody. Thanks for that huge raid, bud. We are playing a little pioneer here. Jamming some 45% uh, Sultai up against the metagame. Uh, my name is Corey Ballmeister. For anyone joining from Wyatt's stream, I'm a fellow Midwesterner at heart, although I do live on the East Coast now. But what were we playing on Wyatt's stream? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Raid hype and dr indeed. All right, so red black here. I would think I want Ashiok, Emrakul, Kalitas, but that's about it. I don't know how many abrupt decays I want in a Kroxa thing. Yeah, thanks, GG man. Oh, classic, classic. All right, what don't we want? Death Raid Shaman seems quite good against them. Fatal Push seems medium. Same with Murderous Rider. Murderous Rider hits Chandra, though, so I think that's better. Let's take out at least one Fatal Push. Maybe just Abrupt Decay. Abrupt Decay does not seem very good. Uh, yeah, they just had a bunch of removal and then Croxas, I guess, but... Hmm. Walking Ballista also seems bad. Eat to Extinction is good. Atreus is actually good against these style decks as well. Our value creatures like Corsair, Tracker, Uro... We want all that shenanigans. Um, so I guess just maybe bring back in a Fatal Push. All right. Let's try that. Let's give this a shot. Okay, what do we got? Thoughts he's into Seder? I'm all about that. We're on the draw. Black, red, just kill all your things type of deck. Thoughtsies are Thoughtsies. How rude, how rude. I just having ourselves a good uh, looking glass IPA. So it shows that I got raided by Wyatt, but maybe it didn't go through or something. Because it didn't show it in my messages. That's weird. Maybe it didn't work. All right, we're just going to go breeding pool tapped. You came through? Okay, well, I guess the number is just... Oh, okay, there we go. Never mind. All right, we're good. Perfect, perfect. Well, welcome, everybody. I hope you are all uh, had a good stream. What was Wyatt doing? What was Wyatt up to? All right, another thoughts he's here. It'll be interesting if they take this. Some Bob Ross painting. Nice. Banton, Blue, White, and Standard. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Banton Standard. That's for sure. All right, so they probably have an answer for our Jace, which is a tilt. We got to play it. We just got to kind of jam, I think. Jam, 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 jam. Yep. Now the question is, is it worth it to play tracker without value? And I think it is. When they're that... Uh, okay, I think that's better now. 
being able to just grizzly salvage this turn because maybe we hit a blue source and hit Ura and then just and then we just elbow him. Oh, nice rain. Well, I hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. All right, the Crusher of Bones. All right, let's get an Earl and a Blue Source and live the dream. Oops. Green, black, salvage. No Uro. But we got a land, and the Fabled Passage is probably the best land, so let's do that. Tracker. If we want to go get Fatal Push, we can. I don't know how much I love it, though, because I do want to just get a blue source. We're trying to give him the people's elbow there, SPS. I'm not going to block. That's for sure. Well, we're for sure going to sack this, but now the question is, do we want a Swamp to deal with this and then be vulnerable if we draw Uro, or I think it's just too good to use our mana here. Awkward to get the Swamp, of course, but... Get some more clues. Hopefully we get a fifth land here and we can go Tracker plus Clue. I need a clue, y'all. I think I like Jace plus Sack of Clue, so we'll Sack of Clue first. Ooh, I actually think I like that better. Eh. Yeah, I think it's better just to... Ah, oh, it's so close. Yeah, I think it's better just because if we hit Uro to do this. Now we just have more looks at Uro. Bricked again. Still sitting good here. Yeah, the combo with push and fabled passage is messed up. Yep, yep, I, I am with you there. Just hit land drops in this situation. They're down to two cards. They're trying to answer all our threats on a one-for-one -one basis. We have three really good cards here, which sucks. Because we're going to have to discard two of them. Brutal. Um, I think we just want to keep tracker. But Eat to Extinction is the only card that actually deals with Crocs up. It's definitely Jace. We do need to exile Crocs up, but they're gonna they're not gonna be able to bring it back for a while, but I do think just them being able to attack with it each turn is too much, so we probably do have to eat it. <coughs> Feels bad. Feels bad to have to discard Tracker and Jace to a Croxa. Croxa was an excellent hit on their part. Okay. Eat to Extinction. Do we want a Fetal Push? Not really. We'll put that into the yard. We'll just say go. Hold this clue for end step. And now we're just kind of in the Uro waiting room, basically. It does seem sweet against non-Uro decks, but yeah, they definitely have a bad matchup against us. But against, like, Inverter, I bet their, their deck is kind of sweet. Yeah, I sided out the Uro, Steve. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hiya. All right, we're still a ways away from this, but eh, we're gonna try. I don't think we'll be able to cast this. They are probably gonna thought seize us or something. They are hitting themselves hard here. They must just have a lot of spot removal for creatures. Forward to Emrakul to lethal them with their own castle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Wyatt. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eleven. Okay, never mind. Game's over. 
We don't have triple blue, which is a problem, but how about a blue off the top? There's our one island, so we do have other islands, so Fabled Passage would do it. Nah, okay. Still fine. Still fine. We almost just want to play this. They gotta have just a ton of removal, and I think we just want to try to contain them. Nah, I mean, if they go Chandra or something, I definitely don't want that to resolve. Or I don't want that to stick, you know? Sure you were, SPS. Sure you were. Way to steal Wyatt's thunder here. He gives us a giant raid and you just try to steal his lines? Not cool, man. Not cool. All right. So it's Uro time. All right. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Unless we Wayfinder into something. I guess we can do it first. Now nah, let's Uro first. All right, let's get rid of the extra bad creatures. Leave a tracker. All right, we just have so much food in our graveyard. I know. Can you believe it, Wyatt? Sure, sure. You can kill many of them. All right, now let's Seder. Okay, let's traverse. Kalidas, Atreus. Kind of just want to get Atreus. Let's do that. We'll just say go. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 12. So if we get a land, we can Emrakul. I sided out the Ballista. Master Pancake. I didn't. It's, it's not very good post-board, but obviously it would have been a game winner here. Oh, come on. Wow, what a jerk. Didn't even let it... Wyatt, it would have happened. It would have happened. We would have been able to kill them with their own castle. How rude. How rude. <laughs> How rude. Okay, I'm going to run to the bathroom, y'all, and then we'll play this last round. I'm going to send you guys just on an ad just so you're not staring at my empty chair. And then I'll be right back. Once again, thanks, uh, everybody from Wyatt's channel who stuck around. And obviously, thank you, Wyatt, for that huge raid. I appreciate you, buddy. I'll be right back. All right, we back, y'all. Let's do it. <laughs> Prime and Sub Gang staring at that nice heck check. Damn right, that is their uh, that is their incentive for subbing. They get to look at a chair instead of an advertisement. I think I'd rather look at an ad than a chair, though, right? This chair is not bad. It's no Carnox chair, but still, I shouldn't be muted. I think you got it wrong, right? Unless something's wrong. All right. I'm not muted, right? It doesn't show I am. Okay, yeah. All right. 
He's just punking me. All right, so our last round here, we need to win to be 4-0. We lost round one to Boggles. Uh, <laughs> we lost round one to Boggles, y'all, in mod, or in Pioneer here. And then we've rattled off wins against Hardened Scales, Hardened Scales, and then just uh, that black red deck. Um, so pretty fun, pretty fun matches so far. Um, I think we can safely go breeding pool tapped here. Now I'm guessing our end boss is going to be inverter since we haven't played it yet. Definitely could be. Definitely could be. Snot seas. It's not a Thero swamp. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so Thoughtseize, what do I want them to take? I mean, if they're Inverter, they probably take Murderous Rider. We'll take that. Let's see what they are. Oh, Mono Black. Okay, this matchup's not bad. We'll leave them with all these Fatal Pushes. This matchup I've heard is good. You're right, Cone Bone. You're good. You're so smart. Cone Bone. A lot of fatal pushes and no longer a rankle. Okay. Blue, green, arrow. I'll take two. So I'd love to just kill anything. If I find a blue source and can get more cards, like Seder Wayfinder off the top would just be Chef's Keys. Come on, attack with your Muna Vault. Hey, that's a great draw. Atrice! Time for you to pick. This card's so good right now. That was... That was like the second best draw. Seder Wayfinder, I think, would have been better, but yeah. 3 0 split. You know it, Conebone. No. Well, no. SBS, they saw the fatal push in their thoughts is there, silly goose. You silly goose. Okay. Let's see what we got. Atrice is so fun. Yeah, SBS. Okay, do we want land Thoughtseize or do we want the other card? I don't think I want land Thoughtseize. I would rather... I think I'm taking the one of here because it, it fills our graveyard as well. Yeah, whatever. Okay, then we'll say go. I think I'd rather have that. That top three was just terrible. That top three was just heinous, but still, still fine to get those cards into the graveyard, you know? Blue source, Fabled Passage. Huh. Check this, y'all. I think I'm just going to push this. Nothing left. So that fills an extra card to the graveyard. You can push anything. Yeah, okay. Master Pancake, you saw the line too. I love it. Because now we just get to bring back Uro. We obviously incinerated a card, but we get the card back with Uro. So I think it's plenty worth it. And Fatal Push is good against him, but not insane, you know? Like that? Like that? Oh, yeah. That was a nice play. All right. Deal with the Uro. And then when they deal with Uro, we just get to do it again. Because we can just mill those top five. Yeah. All right. All right. 
Will you do, be doing more historic on SCG? Uh, GNS, uh, not for a while because we got Akoria. Uh, we're going to be playing Akoria Standard and Akoria Modern for quite a while. Yeah, I agree, Slyre. Okay, so Mono Black, I think we want Expertise, Kalidas, Decay, Ashiok. What don't we want? I think one tracker. Ballista's probably good enough. Maybe a Trees. Deathrite Shaman seems heinous to me. I mean, it's good at eating those creatures. Maybe it's good. Maybe I'm not giving Deathrite Shaman enough credit. Maybe I just don't want any Thought Seizes. That's probably it, huh? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, so maybe a Treese is fine. Maybe Tracker is fine. Maxing out on Decays is okay. Yeah, let's... Nah. I think it's better than Murderous Rider still. I think I like this. I think I like this. What do y'all think? Yeah, we need to answer Rankle, I agree. But we have, what, a decent amount of answers to it right now. Unless we need thoughts or Thoughtseize to answer it. Yeah, Revolt Push does it as well. Okay. Smart, Rain. Smart. All right, we're going to go with this. Yeah, I, I think Push is enough answers for it. Like, this is fine. The Inverter matchup, I, I haven't played it since I... This is my first league with Sultai, um, but I don't think it's great. I think Inverter is the best deck. I think we can keep. Do we want to just traverse on one for a forest? Doesn't seem great. I think I'd rather not take two. Yeah, now we definitely don't. Okay, next turn we'll take two and either Decay or Jace, and then the turn after, De Decay or Jace and a land. Yeah, this is fine. I think we're just going to get Jace down since we have an extra one. But if they don't play anything, then I probably don't want to... Okay, we'll figure it out now. Probably taking the Decay. <laughs> I hear you. Sideboarding is a very tough skill of magic. I think it's one of the, one of the uh, toughest things to get really good at. It takes one of the Jaces. Interesting. I think I like Grizzly Salvage here. I just want to... So, I'm definitely going to take two. So, here's the thing. Here's my thought process. If I play Jace right now, they go land whatever play some bullshit um then i untap and go okay tap land go and then they go rankle and attack i guess i can grizzly salvage yeah i guess i can grizzly salvage and then tap to pump okay so that's why if i didn't draw grizzly salvage i wouldn't play jace here just because rankle would be able to eat it alive <laughs> yeah sorry i guess a lot of you are coming from wyatt's channel where i'm guessing no swear words occur I have a little bit more of a potty mouth. Why it's why it's just very pure and doesn't swear. I probably shouldn't either, but So, Murderous Rider here I think is fine. Um Well, we can take 2 now to have a Murderous Rider. Why it after dark? That sounds awesome. 
All right. I think it's worth it just in case they uh, have the ranky poo. There you go, empty the warrens. <laughs> it just reminds me of that Dave Chappelle skit where they're just like, uh, they're working at a copier place. <laughs> Uh, probably shouldn't repeat this on stream, but they're working at a copier place and Dave Chappelle, they're like, so do they, uh, do you really care about customer service uh, here, here? And it's like, no, I don't. And you know why? Cause fuck them. <laughs> I know, you'd have to watch it. I'm explaining it poorly, but. Dave Chappelle was basically my childhood growing up. I watched so much of that show. So good. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Fifty Shades of Wyatt. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Glad we do have the answer to this. Kill that. We're getting a little low here. These lands have been very damaging. Ooh, that's a good one. We're gonna play that. Courser. Land tap, gain my life, say go. Hope they don't have another wrinkle. We can't really do anything about another wrinkle. Not another wrinkle, not another wrinkle. Seder on top, so we'll be able to manipulate our library enough where we'll probably be able to play land off the top and like Decay, Salvage, or Wayfinder. So then we're just gonna Uro after this. I'll happily take it. No, no rankle. Whoa, GG, man, that's not cool. It's not cool. Pump, 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 pump. We'll take it. I'd be happy. Come on. All right. So yeah, now we're just on an Uro hunt, but we basically get to, we basically get to flip the top nine cards over to find an Uro to be able to cast it, not next turn, but the turn after. GG man, Looking Glass IPA if you've ever had it. It's very good. Very good. All right, what are they gonna do to our Courser? I'd like my Courser to live. Knight of the Ebon Legion just has not been that impactful of a card lately. Since vampires went out of standard, I just have not loved that card. Am I am I alone on that? It just doesn't feel like that good of a card to me these days. Okay. I think we're just gonna play this tapped. All right, then we'll play Seder. We're on an Uro hunt. Probably gonna decay. That's not great. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't wanna draw it though. Here's the thing, like I really wanna salvage now. But I, I, I think I'll probably have to decay, you know? Bud Light, ugh. Guinness is what is up there, muffins on a hill. I'm a fan. I am a fan. Ooh, upkeep salvage. Uh, master, genius. Genius, of course, yeah. 
Yeah, I think I would have missed that. If he avoids pumping, then I just let that happen, and then I grizzly salvage. So, so our opponent's kind of in that rock in the hard place spot where if they do pump, I have the answer. If they don't pump, I play a better spell, you know? So right now, having these two cards is really rough for them because no matter what they do, I have, I have a, a plan, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all Seth ever drinks is uh, Guinness. Uh, and he, he's got a stash, so he's always got that foamy mustache. <laughs> oh, I miss just gatherings where we could where we could drink outside and tell stories. Ugh. Anybody else starting to feel really cooped up? I feel I'm definitely starting to feel it. Death threads have been medium. Yeah, Agent, I would love craft brews, but, uh, oh, shit. An opponent control, if a non-token creature an opponent controls would die, instead exile that card. So just opponent, huh? All right. Yeah, I definitely have cabin fever. That's for sure. Okay. Well, we like how this turn went out. Grizzly Salvage. Okay. Um, Ballista or Wayfinder. I think we need Wayfinder here, y'all. Or wait, no, we can bring back Earl regardless. Yeah, we can traverse if we put Ballista to the yard. So maybe we'll have to do that. So we could traverse for Murderous Rider or just Uro. Yeah, I think we need to kill that. Yep, I'm with you. Let's go get it. What? Do we not have another one? Is that all our murderous riders? Ah, oh, crap. Well, that's not good. I did board one out. You're right. Okay, well, that changes things. Could just get a land. Could get our own Kalitas. All right. Okay, we do get to Uro and Abrupt Decay now with that on top. So blue, blue, green, green, Uro. Three, four, five. Legend Rulum, yeah. Okay. Now we'll just say go and hope our punishment isn't too bad. We really need a way to deal with this Kalidas, but we'll live for now. Maybe we should have just played Wayfinder so we didn't draw Death Right. That probably would have been better.
Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, we can block. We can, like, block with Uro to this, and then they're forced to put mana into it, and then we kill it, right? Love that. Yeah, we're just going to play Kalidas next turn and attack with Uro. They're just like, nope, can't beat that. All right, not a bad 4-1. Not a bad 4-1. We started a little shaky. We lost round one, and then we lost game one uh, of Eric slash Greg. And we're like, okay, we're 0-3 in games. We literally lost the first three games of this league and then rattled off eight games in a row. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice that's nice i like that i like that a lot okay well i mean this deck was nice i think i would take out the death rights moving forward and like play some ashiox or something but overall i think the deck was awesome so all right y'all i think that is gonna be it for the stream for me oops ign ignore my ugly ass thing this is the list for anybody who's looking i guess it's on your cardboard live as well um, but that is going to do it for me. I got myself versus live tomorrow where we're playing Akoria cards. Uh, going to be playing new standard on versus live tomorrow. So if y'all are interested in that, um, check it out, you know.